Hey folks, Larry here, and here I am. Bam! Okay, well, where am I? I'm at a little park a couple of miles away from the house. I stopped in, got my latte, got my hand sanitizer, my water, and my journal in pens. I'm going to do a little journaling while I'm out today. Uh, since everything else is closed, I need to get out of the house, but then I don't want to get around a bunch of people. Uh, how many people would I get around with? There's four to six people that we meet, but uh, right now it's just me. I doubt if anybody will come, but that's okay. I've got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of journaling to do. Then when I get home today, I've got some shelves that are coming in so I can finish straightening out uh, my shelves on my inks, I'm reorganizing all my inks and I have uh, some other shelves that will fit into those so I can uh, put my inks on them and uh, change out my journals and just rearrange the uh, way I have my uh, uh, bookshelf set up. So then I've got some reviews to do. Also uh, on the Parker, real quick, Parker, 51 and 21. The Parker 51 does say Parker 51 on it, and the Parker 21 does say Parker 21. Uh, I've had some questions that maybe I may have misread that, and I could have, but uh, I'm going to bring both those on later today and do a video, and I'll do the sizes on both of them, uh, show you the insides. But what's different on the 21 than the 51 is the feed is a bit bigger. Uh, so we'll get on to that later when I do a review. But uh, again, you know, I'm no really vintage buff, but I do like vintage pens. So all the uh, constructive criticism and input is really helpful to me. Uh, but uh, as I continue my journey, uh, make sure you wash your hands a lot use that hand sanitizer. And what I've done was I went out and I made eight bottles of sanitizer the right way, the correct way. I followed the regulations that the uh, uh, government uh, said, you know, this is what you need, this kind of alcohol, the aloe vera, and that's really all you need and I add a little oil to it like peppermint maybe a drop or two stuff is pretty strong so I made about eight bottles and I don't sell them I give them away free uh, so went out and bought the last four bottles that were at the Dollar Tree I believe they're good bottles and then so I have like six seven more to make and hopefully I'll get out later and try to find some more all those will be given away to people that need them. When I see somebody and they need one, I'll just give it to them. I went to Walmart yesterday, uh, hopefully for the last couple of weeks, and we bought some toilet tissue. And there was one lady that had her cart stacked up, oh, just with toilet paper. I, I guess from the cart all the way up about almost five feet up in the air. That's how high it was, for real. And people were just like, wow, check that out. So anyway, all the paper goods were gone. And then Walmart uh, staff was bringing out some more toilet tissue, the real cheaper brands. And they wouldn't even wait till they got out of the box. They were just ripping into it and taking it. So people are just freaking out, panicking. There's no need for that. When you just panic, go berserk. That's not going to help solve the issue, is it? No, it's not. No, it's just going to make things worse. So uh, there's people alongside the freeway that are selling toilet paper. And on eBay, we find out that the sellers are back, and they sold a 12-pack of toilet tissue for, was it $42, $45? And there's another seller selling toilet tissue uh, I don't know if it's 12 rows for like $50, $55. So all these caring, loving individuals 
that are supposed to, I feel, help one another in the time of need, in the time of crisis, are out there trying to make a buck. Now, we got two rolls of uh, toilet tissue. I believe they're like 12 rolls in there. But anybody that needs toilet tissue, you know, that we know, or uh, we'll just give them a roll. No selling here. So, you know, help your fellow man and sister out there. This is the time where we should all come together as one people, not as two or three. Don't let the greed overwhelm you. Greed will be your destruction. So this is a sample of things to come. And it's here. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's here. So keep those hands washed. But the best hand wash of anything is soap and water. Remember, a good 20, 30, 40 seconds even. And scrub your hands good inside, outside, around the fingernails. Just give them a good thorough wash and you will defeat that virus. There will be an end to this virus. They're already working on it. They're jumping on it. There will be an end to this virus. Trust me. God willing, I hope I don't get it. And if I do, hey, you guys have been one hell of an audience. Good people out there. Friends. I call you friends. So, I thought I'd share this video with you. It's really important, at least to me it is. And I'll let you know what's going on. By the way, now there are, I believe, I think they said six or nine cases in Fort Worth. One person passed away, but he was a elderly gentleman. One was either 90 or 70 with some health issues. So uh, in Plano, there's either 9 or 11. There's some in Frisco. So, I mean, they're all over the place. So it's going crazy. Oh, there's one in Arlington, a, a young boy in junior high school. So, yeah, this is everywhere. This stuff is airborne. It travels everywhere. It's looking to nest in a human, and we don't want this garbage to nest in a human. So we will fight all we can. So God bless in each and every one of you. And remember, my friends, don't text and drive. God bless y'all. And one more time, I'll give you a look where I'm at. There is my water. There is my vanilla latte. Yay! And my journal. My pins are in here. Sanitizer. Here's the tables I'm on, and here's the tables here. And there's the roof over my head. Here's the scenery all around me and the neighborhood. So, playground over there. So, that's it, folks. Hey, take care of yourself. Be safe. Keep them hands clean. You don't need to wear a mask. Quit freaking out. The mask is not going to stop the virus from coming in. If you have the virus, then wear a mask. That will help it contained on the inside. Remember. So, stay away from people that are sneezing, coughing. Try to keep distance when you're in the store from people if all possible. Use that hand sanitizer when you go in. You don't know who's touched those carts. Use that sanitizer religiously when you go into stores. More than once, two, three, four times, it don't matter. Be safe, rather be safe than sorry. So, take care of yourself. God bless. Don't text and drive. I'll see you later in my review. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.